Hello everybody, hello children, hello staff, hello everybody, welcome to our assembly. We haven't had an assembly in a long time which is really sad, so it's brilliant to be here today to talk to you all because it's the end of term, yippee, hooray, and what a term it's been, oh my days, you guys have been totally amazing. When we started this term, now I was a bit worried and all the staff were a bit worried and we, we were so worried about how you guys were going to be. We didn't know whether you'd be really upset having to come back to school and not wanting to leave um, home and you know, we were worried about how you were going to settle back into your learning. But you know what? You have been totally amazing. You've just come back in and you've knuckled down and you are so happy to be back in school. It's brilliant. I've been reading all your questionnaires that you've been filling in for me, which is amazing. And lots of you did say that on that Sunday night before you started back, you were a bit nervous, you had a bit of jelly belly. But the soon as you came back into school, you have loved it and you are absolutely excelling. So one thing that we're going to do for that is we've got you some special badges. Wait a minute, let me go and find them. Here we go. So you had to stay at home during lockdown and that was a bit rubbish. But because you did that, you did a really great thing for everybody in our country. And so the PGFA have bought all of us these really cool little badges. Can you see that? So this one's for somebody who was in year five. And it says, I stayed at home to protect others and save lives. And it's got our badge on it and it's got the rainbow sign on it. And that what you're going to receive at the end of the assembly today is all of you will receive one of these very special badges from the PTFA. So that's brilliant. Thank you, PTFA. We love them. And that rainbow is a really important symbol. And we've used it this year for our learning heroes. And that's what we're going to talk about today, because your teachers have been watching you and your teachers have been seeing who has been working super hard and who has been our learning heroes. So let's have a look. Let's start with our school prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, bless our school, bless our teachers, bless our friends and bless each one of us. May we work and play together, always glad to help each other. May we live and grow together, happy in your loving care. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we based our learning heroes on the rainbow colours and we've got seven rainbow colours. So we've got seven characteristics that we want you to try and achieve throughout the year. So the first one is about being resilient, never giving up when it's tricky and persevering through tough times. And to be honest, we've all had to be a bit like that this term. So your teachers have been spotting people who've been really showing that they've been determined to not give up even when they found it really hard. The next one is orange, organised orange. It's really important to be organised to help you learn. So we are trying to get everybody to think about what they need to bring to school in the morning, what they need for each lesson, when they need to hand their homework in, what do they need to do in order to get themselves ready and be prepared to learn. So trying to be organised orange. Yippee yellow. Yippee yellow is all about having a growth mindset, being really keen and eager and enthusiastic to learn. People who have a thirst for knowledge, who love school, have a really curious nature and ask questions and wonder. 
trying to soak up new knowledge, trying to develop these characteristics. We're also trying to encourage people to be grateful. So here is grateful green, and that's thinking about being appreciative of the things that we have, even small things that we need to be thankful for every single day. Being grateful for those who support them, such as your friends and your teachers and your family, and showing love and kindness to others. It's a really lovely one. Then we've got bright blue. And if you're trying to be like bright blue, then you are going to be making great progress from where you started from by being really dedicated to your learning. So you might do things like reading at home, learning your spellings, completing your homework and really having that desire to meet your goals and aim higher all the time so that you're getting smarter and smarter every day. Independent our next one. If you're trying to be like independent indigo, then you understand the value of learning and happy to be involved in what us teachers call productive struggle. And that means that you're really trying hard at a problem and you don't just say, oh, it's too hard and give up. You don't straight away say, I need some help with it. Yeah, give it a go yourselves and involve yourself in work that is tricky. Using your initiative, having a go, and that way you're stretching your brain and growing your brain. So you're being independent in your learning. Then we've got versatile violet as our last one. So this one's really important to be versatile. You need to be able to think about previous things you've learned and how they can help you to understand new things. So how can you make links, connections to other concepts that are going to help you with new learning? How can you apply them in different situations and really be a brilliant problem solver? So over the course of our year, that's the things we're going to be trying to be doing. We're going to be trying to be all those wonderful rainbow colours. So let's have a look who your teachers have chosen this term as our learning heroes. We're going to start with year six. Let's see. So our first learning hero in year six is Eve. And Mr Hemsley would like to congratulate Eve and he would like to give her Yippee Yellow Award because Eve is always enthusiastic, she's always eager to learn, she asks inquisitive questions and she enjoys school life. Brilliant, well done Eve. Mr Hemsley has also chosen Dylan and he's a resilient red because he shows great determination in his maths. Dylan's shown resilience when things have got tricky. He works at his own pace to help him understand the concept. And by the end of each lesson, he's been able to work independently. Fantastic, Dylan. Well done. Mr. Hamill has chosen Marola for Resilient Red as well. Mr. Hamill says Marola absolutely will not give up until she's happy with her work. Even when it's challenging, she keeps trying. That's great news, Marola. Well done. Let's see who else Mr. Hamill's chosen. It's Ellis and Ellis is independent indigo. And Mr. Hamill says Ellis loves to get stuck into his work and set himself a challenge. When he needs to, he listens to support and uses it to help him. That's fabulous, Ellis, well done. So let's see who our year five learning heroes are. And we will start with Miss Mackle's class. The first learning hero is Lena Rose and Miss Mackle's chosen Lena because she's really worked hard at her maths this term and has been stuck sticking at it even when it's tough. She's an anxious mathematician but I'm really proud of how much she has progressed. Well you keep going Lena that is absolutely brilliant. Let's see who Miss Mackle's next learning hero is. We've got Brandon and Brandon is always looking for feedback to help him improve and he doesn't let challenges daunt him. 
just like that mountain climber there. He's going to keep on going until he reaches his goals. That's fabulous, Brandon. I'm delighted for you. What about Mrs. Turner's class? First one is Maya. Mrs. Turner has said Maya is independent indigo because she enjoys challenges. She loves having a go, but she isn't afraid to ask for help when necessary. Good girl, Maya. And our next one is William. William always stays positive and keeps on trying during difficult times. He never gives up. And that's the way you're going to achieve, William, isn't it? Very good. I'm delighted with you. See who our year four learning heroes are. Our first one is Ava. Brilliant news, Ava, that you have been chosen by your teachers for Resilient Red because you are focusing well on all your work and trying hard to come into class with a big smile. That's brilliant. And Jessica is yippee yellow. Well done, Jessica. You're always enthusiastic about your learning. You're asking questions and you're eager to achieve your goals. What a brilliant student that is. Well done, Jessica. Mr Downing and Ms Smith have first of all chosen Layla as a versatile violet. Layla applies what she's previously learnt to help her make progress in new learning. She makes connections which she shares with the class to benefit those around her. My goodness me, people are lucky to be in your class, Layla. That's fabulous. And Mr Downing and Ms Smith have also chosen... Hanora. Hanora always wants to improve her writing. She uses a variety of sentence structures and she takes feedback well across all subjects. What a brilliant all rounder, Hanora. Good girl. Now, let's see who our year three learning heroes are. And we'll start with Mrs. Lee's class, because Mrs. Lee has chosen Isabella for Resilient Red. Mrs. Lee says that Isabella takes pride in everything she does, does it to the best of her ability and never gives up. And her next learning hero is Edward. Good boy, Edward. Mrs. Lee says you're a real superstar. You contribute well in class. You give everything your best shot. Keep it up, Edward. You are amazing. And Miss Bridge has chosen Ella as resilient red because she doesn't give up and is so resilient in all her learning. That's really good, Ella. You keep that up. And then Miss Bridge has chosen Isla to be yippee yellow. Miss Bridge would like to congratulate Isla because she works incredibly hard, always to the best of her ability, and she loves reaching the stretch it tasks. Goodness me, very tricky. Well done Isla for loving a challenge. Now moving down into key stage one. I wonder who our year two teachers have chosen for their learning heroes. First of all, we have Nellie. And Nellie is a resilient red superstar. Miss, Miss Dewan says that Nellie um, is enthusiastic, determined to improve her reading and her writing. What a star you are, Nelly. You are indeed. And Miss Dewan's also chosen Luca because he shows patience and determination when faced with challenging mastery maths questions. Goodness me, they do sound tricky, Luca. You keep it up. Well done. And Mrs. Wiggly's class. Let's see who she's chosen. First of all, we've got Christopher. Christopher is a bright blue for his huge determination and his commitment to learning. I am delighted to hear that, Christopher. That's brilliant. Well done. And Mrs. Wiggly has also chosen Naraya. Naraya is a resilient red because she's determined to complete work to achieve success. Well done. 
just like that um, plant trying to grow there, even when it's struggling, you, that plant is determined, just like Naraya, and they're going to get there in the end. Well done. Okay, our year one learning heroes. Let's see who we've got. First of all, we have Henry. And Henry, you are a resilient red. And Miss Williamson says, you are so brave and you didn't give up even when you were scared. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that you were scared, Henry, but I'm really delighted that you were so resilient and brave and determined not to give up. Well done, Henry. Miss Williamson has also chosen Ruby for organised orange. That's wonderful, Ruby. Ruby is sensible, grown up and always ready to learn. My goodness me, Ruby, you sound more like a year six. That's fabulous. Miss Stanley has first of all chosen Imogen. Imogen's our yippy yellow. Well done, Imogen. Miss, Miss Stanley says that Imogen is always determined to improve her work and she never gives up. Well done. And Andrew has been chosen because he is bright blue, determined, trying his hardest to complete work to a very high standard. Wow, Andrew, that is absolutely brilliant news. And we're nearly there. Last but not least, we have our amazing foundation children who have been so wonderful this term. It was really hard for our foundation children because they had to start our school in September and they hadn't been able to come and have a look round or meet the teachers or anything like that. They had to come into our classrooms, but they did it with absolute determination and brilliance. And we are so impressed with all our foundation children. I bet it was a very tricky job for the teachers to choose their learning heroes. But let's have a look who they have chosen. First of all, Miss Wood has chosen Connie and I'm delighted with this. Connie is trying so hard with her writing and she's learned to never give up even when it's tricky. Miss Wood says Connie used to say I can't but now like resilient red she says I can do it. Connie, if you've learned that already, then you are going to go very far indeed. You are wonderful. Well done. And Miss Wood has also chosen Max, and this is another brilliant choice. I have seen how far Max has come on already in his short time with us. And Miss Wood says that Max has been trying really hard, especially with his writing and realising that he can do it if he doesn't give up. Wonderful, Max. I bet your big sister will be very proud of you. Let's see who Miss Harrison's chosen. First of all, Miss Harrison has chosen Corey and he's our resilient red because he always tries his best and he never gives up. Keep it up, Corey. You are a superstar. And our last learning hero this term is our resilient red Melissa. And this is a wonderful choice because Miss Harrison says Melissa was a bit unsure when she started school and I'm not surprised. She did need some reassurance, but now she is so much more confident and it's lovely to see her grow. Fabulous start to our school. Well done. So, I wonder who you are all going to try to be like next term. So we've got Resilient Red, Organised Orange, Yippee Yellow, Grateful Green. We didn't have any Grateful Greens, did we? Grateful Green, Bright Blue, Versatile Violet and Independent Indigo. Have a think about all those different characteristics. Which one do you think you need to work on? Which one do you think you would like to improve on? And I want you to have a 
go at writing down what you're going to do next term to try and be more like that characteristic that you've chosen. And hopefully, if you're really determined next term, work really hard on trying to be like that, your teachers might spot you as our next learning hero. And wouldn't that be fabulous? So, fabulous news, all our learning heroes. I'm absolutely delighted with you. And I'm delighted with everyone in our whole school, teachers, TAs, office staff, cleaners, middays, dinner ladies, children, all of you, because we have come together this term in what has been the most difficult term that we've had in a very, very, very long time, but we have done it. You've let your light shine and I'm so proud of all of you. So let's finish with a prayer. Father in heaven, you love me. You're with me night and day. I want to love you always in all I do and say. I'll try to please you, Father. Bless me through the day. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you've got two jobs to do now. Job number one is write or draw which colour characteristic you're going to try to be next term. Job number two your teachers to give you your very special badges from our PTFA and if anybody would like to write a letter or a card or draw a picture for our PTFA to say thank you for these badges I'm sure that they would love that. Well done everybody have a wonderful half term break hope you manage to get outside and do some fun things together with your family enjoy it and we'll see you all again next term. Bye everyone. Bye.